everybody. My name's Rob Anderson. I'm here with uh, Anthony and Brooke. Yes? We're going to show them a little bit of magic here on the Las Vegas Strip. Now, I've already talked to you guys. I know you're a couple. Just got to Vegas four hours ago. But how long have you been together? Five years. Five years. Oh, it's a long time. It's yeah. good. It's a good amount of time to be together. So uh, five years ago, you guys went on some of your first dates, got to know each other, held hands, learned you liked each other, right? Yeah. Yeah. I want to take you back to those first dates with our first trick, okay? okay. Here's what we'll do. We're going to, have to use a card, but Anthony, hold your hand out just like this, because I'm going to hand you the Jack of Spades. I'd like you to place your hand on top of that brook in his hand, so you're kind of holding hands right there. Put your hand on top. Great nails, by the way. You guys look so good together. Remember holding hands on those first dates? I'm going to use another card, the Ace of Hearts. Now, the heart will be a better card for you to have. You're in love out here after five years together. Now, you felt some love on your first date, so I want you to be honest. Did you feel that? Yeah. Did you feel that? Yeah. Did you feel that? No. Look, look what you have. You've got the heart. Wow. It's a, nice. it's, a much, right. it's a much better card okay. for you to have. Like Talking about your love tonight. Yeah. I like that one. That's a good one. Well, I made a prediction, actually, about meeting a nice couple out here. Made a prediction. I took four other cards out of another deck. I have them right here. I made a prediction on them. I don't want you to think this is sleight of hand or anything. So, Brooke, what I'd like you to do is hold on to these cards for me just like this with your hand upturned like this. You're just going to cup them in gentle squeeze. Perfect. Freeze. Like that. You're holding four queens right now. I did something special. I made a prediction on one, okay? You're touching the card, so I'm committed to it. It's a two-part trick, though. It's going to have to do with your compatibility. You're going to be first here, Anthony. I want you to imagine the queens in Brooke's hand. They're going to be hearts and diamonds. They're red. Clubs and spades. They're black. Two colors. Visualize those and visualize me taking one of those colors out of her hand right now. Anthony, out loud, which color do you imagine me taking, red or black? Black. Black cards gone, leaving you with only the red cards right here in your hands. Visualize those right in your hand, and then visualize us taking just one more out. It's going to leave you with one in your hand. Brooke, I'm sorry. What, your name? Brooke. <laughs> Brooke, which card do you want to leave here, the heart or the diamond? Which one would you like? The heart. The heart. You want to leave the heart right here over the diamond. Hearts over diamonds. Love over money. She's a keeper. She's, that's good. That's a good card. Look, no funny moves. I predicted one card. Chose the Queen of Hearts. I actually predicted you would say you wanted the Queen of Hearts right there, so we left it in there face up. I took the Queen of Hearts from a totally different deck of cards for you guys. That's how sure I was you'd be compatible. Thank you. I knew we'd need that Queen of Hearts. And remember, I said we were only going to leave one card in your hand, right? There was never anything else in your hand at all except the Queen of Hearts. That's all you had the entire time. You're compatible. I'm glad that worked out. That's good. good job. Thank you. Thank I almost you. said red at first. I would have felt very stupid. All right. <laughs> let's do one more. Okay. okay. Let's do a grand finale. Last one. Can you help me out with this, Brooke? Sure. I want you to imagine something for me. Just think about a happy time you spent with, you spent with Anthony right here, okay? It could be anything at all. Don't say it out loud. I'm not going to try to guess it or say what it is. Just think of a happy memory you've made with this great guy right here, okay? When you have that in mind, I want you to think approximately what time it happened to the nearest hour. Just think about it. It could be approximate. It doesn't need to be exact. Just think 1 through 12, like on a clock. 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 1 o'clock. Now, I know you're thinking of one of the times on this clock. I've got to try to figure out what that time is. I can't read mine, so I'm going to have to use this fork that I stole from dinner earlier, though. I'm going to lay this fork on the table at... 5 o'clock, which was close, but that was not your time. Watch the fork. 6 o'clock? You're thinking of 6 o'clock right now. That was a very special memory you shared. None of the other cards in the deck matter except that 6 o'clock card because it represents a special memory between the two of you. I'm going to leave the 6 o'clock card with you tonight. It'll be a souvenir to remind you of all your special memories you've shared. And I'll leave it with you, Anthony. Let's check it out. Oh. That's a good card. Anthony, tell you what, why don't you take that, and whenever you're ready, I'll let you show Brooke what that card is. Yeah. Put your big ass ring on, man. 
DIY proposal kits. They contain every romantic thing you need to stage your own proposal. They're now shipping at magicalproposals.com. Go check them out.